Supporters of the Smiley Culture Justice Campaign marched on Scotland Yard this afternoon, calling for a public inquiry into his death. The 80s reggae artist died from a stab wound whilst in police custody. Our special correspondent, Kurt Barling, reports. Around a thousand marchers took their campaign to the streets of central London today, demanding answers as to how David Emmanuel, better known as Smiley Culture, died of stab wounds during a police raid on his home last month. Smiley was allowed into the kitchen to make tea. I mean, this was a national crime task force. They would have known that this is a, a serious crime. They'd gone into the house to let Smiley into the kitchen where you've got utensils and whatever else underneath. He's got hot water, etc., etc. Beggars believe that they would allow him under such circumstances to do that. The Independent Police Complaints Commission is currently investigating the incident and marchers say keeping the issue in the public eye is the only way they feel their concerns will be fairly addressed. To ask questions. Last month, a meeting at City Hall broke up amidst emotional scenes. The day-to-day -day experiences do not give people confidence. Hackney's not a language, it is only a slang and was originated yet in England. Smiley Culture made his reputation describing the relations between black youth and the police with his reggae lyrics. Early answers say the family will prevent unwarranted speculation about the cause of death. We just really want to know how our loved one died and get to the truth of it. It really is quite simple. It's not complicated at all. The Cockney translator had an eventful life. His family want a prompt and robust inquiry into his unnatural death. Kurt Barling, BBC London News. Football now and in the bar.